look at these big ass damn they walking him but that's crazy hey but this i may not see the title um because obviously if you clicked on this video you feel like this video is going to somewhat relate to you but you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say somewhat. I am going to say that it is going to relate to you because I'm going to try my best to, you know, try to help you with your depression because a lot of you probably think, like, I don't know what it feels like to be depressed. You're probably thinking, like, you know, uh, you, you do, you play basketball, you do YouTube, so you do this, you look this way, this and that. What would you know about depression? But it's like... I've been through that phase before, so trust me, I, I know how it feels to want to lead this world because it just feels as if nobody understands you anyway, nobody hears your, your cries and all that. Anyway, I understand for sure, and you know, I'm just here to tell you that through this storm, this is, it's going to shape you for your future self to become the best person that you never thought you could be. You feel me? Like, I don't think a lot of you know how important it is for you to be alive. And, you know, it is kind of crazy that we don't really get to value our lives because we don't, we don't get to hear from other people how, you know what I'm saying, amazing or how loving we are. People just, people just know that we exist, but they don't, they don't talk to us. They don't ask us how we're doing. They don't. You know what I'm saying? They don't care to see what kind of problems I'm I got going on. I'm always helping other people, and that just stresses it stresses you out. You can't talk to nobody. You can't vent because it's always a man. You'll be fine, man. Tough enough, or it's a you'll be alright. Stop all that crying. Nobody want to hear all that, and it's just like damn. Okay, now you feel like a bother, and it's crazy because you try to get the help. You try to ask for the help, especially from the people that are close to you, but. Nobody listens. Nobody wants to hear you because it's just like, uh, okay, I don't know what it is about me, but people don't want to listen. But know that I'm here for you. I'm here for you, and it, it's just it's just really messed up how how people can do like certain people, right? But then when we're gone, it's like all of a sudden all this love you and care you had is shown. But you, why couldn't you show that when I was physically here? Now that I'm gone, and it's, it's, it's unimaginable now, it's just like, damn, this motherfucker gone. And it's like, yeah. So now you start to realize that it can happen to anybody, closest to anybody. You know what I'm saying? This is where people that came and come to terms with, oh, death in that aspect. And it's very important that you don't get so low into that frequency of wanting to kill yourself or take your life because even if you don't feel you're important, just know God made you for a reason. Whoever you believe in, you're here for a reason. Even if you don't even believe in nothing, you're here for a reason. And that's that's what we have to come to terms with. Like, even if you don't know what your purpose is, be patient and figure yourself out. What the fuck was that? And But figure yourself out. Bro, please don't part next to me, brother. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, my voice cried too. What the fuck? <clears throat> Bro, please don't put. But I hate when people. Bro, I hate when people do that. But you know, what I'm saying, come to terms with the fact that you don't want to be in that frequency to where you take your own life, because you came here for a purpose, a certain way of living to help other people besides yourself. And it's just like before we can even know what happens, boom, we gone. We take our life, and. We don't. What's crazy? You don't. Don't even have to. Don't worry about what's gonna happen in the next life because it's like when, whenever that does happen, just know you get it. You get it. You know, so you get to come back. You, you get to right your wrongs. You know, saying different body, same soul. So you you really gotta sit there and know, like, man, hard times do not last forever, and that's me telling you that. You need to, you know, what I'm saying just pray, pray or talk to yourself and really appreciate who you are, even if nobody does it for you. Do it for yourself. Do it for yourself because you're your best friend. You know what I'm saying? You get to wake up. You get to see yourself every day in that mirror. So why not tell yourself some good things? Tell yourself some good thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Really appreciate everything that you got going on for you. Hey, man, come on. Get the fuck up out of here. You feel me? 
really like really take take with the everything that you are appreciated for everything you're grateful for because it could get worse so really really know that it really could get worse you really cannot have, have a house a lot of you could be you know a lot of you could be homeless a lot of you could be under the bridge like it's, it's, it's things you gotta know. Like, you just be grateful for your situation. I know it's hard, and also know that a lot of people, a lot of you get bullied, a lot of you get abused, a lot of you get trauma, a lot, a lot of some, I ain't gonna speak on this shit on camera, but I know a lot of shit has done happen to a lot of y'all to where you feel disgusting, you feel violated. And, you know, I, I, I can't sit here and tell you, you know, I can't give you a hug, because if I could, I would. So I know all you need is a hug. You need somebody to know why the why this trauma may turn you into who it is. I know you want to be a I know you want to be a better person. I know you want to be loving. I know you want to be caring. But I know it's hard. I know it's hard for you. I know. I know it is. I understand. What the fuck? But I know. I know it is. But you gotta know hard times will not last forever. And the and the things that people put us through, trust me, they're not they're not gonna say sorry. They're not gonna apologize. And you have to come to terms with that. A lot of people will not give an apology ever in life because they have pride and ego. But just know you are way more mature than that. This is not your fault. You are not a burden to your family. You are not a mistake. You are not none of that. You are kings and queens and you deserve to be here. You deserve to be treated the same. It's like Everybody else in a good man, you deserve to have, you know, saying that love and care that you that you want. That's what from your parents, siblings, friends, whatever the case may be. I know. But if nobody can give you that, you can you can give somebody that. And just think about how many people once you start giving that energy out there to the world, watch how many people bring it right back to you. Why? Because you get to have good karma. You're doing great things in life and you're you're prospering to the highest degree. With depression, that comes with that comes with being 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 with your demons. People people have to heal from that. People gotta know, don't let don't let saying that that's that negative talk. Don't let Satan get in your head. Don't let him manipulate you into thinking you don't deserve to be here. Nah. Fuck that. That's low frequency. That's a frequency meaning like that energy, that that mind state is not healthy for none of us because why? God made us in his image. And that's the most beautiful image in the world. This man gave us nature. This man gave us the sky, moon, stars, sun. Come on now, is that not artistic or what? Oceans, mountains. Like, you feel what I'm saying? These are beautiful. This is a beautiful imagery. So therefore, you are that same aspect. You need to know. You need to learn who you are. You have to grow. Because like I said before, what people did to you, that is not your fault. That is not your mistake. And in the day, they will get what they deserve for doing with what they did to you to put you through all this shit. Trust and believe that. A lot of y'all feel like they're still walking around and they're achieving goals or whatever out of what they did to you. No, 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 no. Don't don't even sit there and get sad, upset, question that because you may think that they're living good. They're, they they show you people show you what they are going through on social media because it's just like oh you don't know they, why would they post the bad shit right? They might be already in their karma, but of course they won't they won't post the bad shit that's going on. They only want to post the good because it'll make it seem like you know they're not the bad guy or whatever the case may be. Whatever it is, though, people are going to get their karma. They're going to get caught. They're going to get killed. They're going to get their ass beat. Something going to happen. And that, that's how the game goes with life. Death, does, death comes across everybody. It, it doesn't matter what way, brutal or not, somebody will die. I will die. You're going to die. But don't let it be within your own hands. God did not put you here to do that. Because you don't want to come back here. You want to live your life to the best, live to the fullest. Live, have it with love, peace, and harmony because just know God loves you more than anybody in the world. He made you. He knew your name before you was even born. You know what I'm saying? He sent his son. He sent himself down here to die for all of our sins. And I'm speaking to a, a, a spiritual aspect. A spiritual aspect telling you like he died on that cross for us. Yah died for us to save us, to love us, to care for us at the end of the day. We are all beautiful souls. We are here for a reason. It's time for us to live our purpose. 
don't let them negative thoughts into your head because if that's not true, your mind is your biggest prison. So don't. And, try, and mind you, you spend the more you spend majority of your time in your head. So you need to make sure your headspace is very good to be in. You want to always think positive. Don't ever think negative. And I know, you know what I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not your counselor, I'm not your therapist. I know, I understand that. But with depression, I just want you to know whatever the, the lies, the manipulation, all the stuff, all the things you tell yourself are not true at all whatsoever. You are a great human being. You deserve to be here. You deserve to live the best, the best life possible. And I know you can do it. Uh, I know you got the guts to overcome the storm and find the happiness that lies within you. You have a great spirit. You hear like, you know, so like I said, you wake up every day for a reason. That, that right there should tell you something. Like there's hope. There's hope. There's no more running from the problems. None of that. Let the past go. Let's grow from that. Let's be like a tree. You know what I'm saying? Somebody planted that seed, that trauma, all the little demons. Somebody planted those negative thoughts in your head. All the negative feelings, negative aspects. Okay. Now, as a tree, it takes time to grow. You got to water yourself every day. Say positive things. Eat right. Look at yourself. Appreciate yourself. Pray. All this stuff. Keep going. You keep growing. You water yourself. Now you start getting into who you really are, who you truly are. Boom, you keep growing. Then all of a sudden, you're going to think to yourself, damn, I remember when I was depressed. I was I was so in a bad state of mind. Now look at me. Life is good. Life is great. I want to help people overcome this. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Because you get to help somebody else. All because you healed yourself. I feel like depression is probably the most outrageous thing anybody can go through. I I wish we could live in a world where there was no sadness. We could all be happy. But then it's kind of like, what would life be if everybody was happy? If you really think about it, right? Like if everybody was just one a dominant emotion, you know, I feel like the world would kind of be very different. But you got this. You know, I love, I love all you. You know what I'm saying? I give y'all a virtual hug. You me? Yeah, you a virtual hug. I want you to keep growing every single day. Journal if you got to. Make sure you eat fruits and vegetables, drink water. Go work out every day. Get up, you find a hobby. Go travel. Go do you, go live your life, all right? I love y'all. And hopefully y'all have a blessed day. I know y'all will, but y'all have a great day, all right? I'm gone.